Manchester United fans were hoping for a response after that defeat to PSG. How about hearing Chelsea fans boo Sarri off at half-time and full-time? Manchester United winning 2-0 at Stamford Bridge in what was the best performance I think we've seen under Ole Gunnar Solskjaer. In terms of a whole team collective, that was a flawless, flawless performance. And bear in mind, we went into that game with Anthony Martial and Jesse Lingard being injured, but we hardly missed them. We switched to a system where we had two up front, Lukaku and Rashford. Rashford, outrageously good game. Herrera, outrageously good. Pogba, Lindelof, Smalling, Matic. The whole team was man of the match tonight. And I don't say that in a cheesy sort of way, but that was the most complete team performance I've seen from Manchester United. We just did that at Stamford Bridge. In the last 25 times we've played at Stamford Bridge, we've won there a collective three times. That's the fourth win. And oh, what a performance that was. Let's talk about it. First half, Chelsea looked okay, but United just looked better. At every point, every ball, we were sharper, we were faster. Good incisive movement. Good running from everybody. Rashford up front with Lukaku, it worked. Matter being in a number 10 that was a good idea, playing with the diamond that we used against Spurs to eliminate the fact that we didn't have Lingard and Martial. We played with a different style of football and it worked supremely. Yes, Chelsea are down in the dumps at the moment, but they played much better in that first half than they did against City and they couldn't touch United. I think that um, early double save from Louise against Romero, that may have settled our defence because after that, United were just in complete control. Complete and utter control. Chelsea rarely, really threatened our goal. But we certainly threatened theirs. What a cross that was from Paul Pogba. And Ander Herrera, for me, man of the match. Head and shoulders man of the match. No matter how good Pogba was, a goal and an assist. He's now got double figures for goals and assists this season. In two months, he's almost turned into the world's best midfielder under Solskjaer. Who knew that that was there? But Ander Herrera, defensively, he helped Ashley Young so much tonight. Doubling up on Eden Hazard the whole time. Being aggressive with the tackle when he needed to be. And he was everywhere in midfield. Kante, known as the, the runner in midfield, was nothing on Ander Herrera tonight. And just to add on top of all of that, Ander Herrera goes and scores the first goal too. He really is the captain without the armband. And tonight, he was man of the match. Martin Keown might have given it to Paul Pogba. But that is overlooking just how good Ander Herrera was. Mai's been sensational under Solskjaer. And then that second goal, arguably even better than that first goal. Paul Popper, again, instrumental in the move. He passes it out to Rashford. He goes down the right and just waits. Rashford just waits for Popper to be in the perfect position and puts it on his head. What a cross that was. Arguably better than Popper's. And a fantastic diving header finish. Two headers from United. As I said, we didn't really need that width tonight because Rashford and Lukaku playing as split strikers were able to run into those channels. And we didn't really need Martial and Lingard out wide there because Rashford and Lukaku were doing it. Just everything that we saw tonight. I'm trying to pick a fault in the game. I genuinely am. And bearing in mind, this is Stamford Bridge, ladies and gentlemen. It's our bogey ground. Going into it tonight, no matter how good United's form had been prior to the PSG defeat, I was nervous. I was thinking, it's fucking Chelsea at Stamford Bridge. We know what happens here. Played them against Mar under Mourinho's last game. Not his last game, but last game at Stamford Bridge. 2-2 with that goal from Barkley. United were great in that second half, but he just knew something was coming from Chelsea. It didn't come tonight because United were so outstandingly disciplined in defence. And I haven't said that in a, in a long, long time as a Manchester United fan. Chris Smalling... Outstanding. Victor Lindelof, outstanding. Luke Shaw, that tackle that he went in and crashed into Romero. Complete commitment from the whole team. Eden Hazard, obviously Chelsea's threat, but we did well to double up on him. And he couldn't get a sniff. He had one chance, but who blocked it? Lindelof. Just United front to back tonight. I can't believe, genuinely can't believe how good we were in every single area of the pitch for the full 90 minutes. Marcus Rashford, playing as that, uh, almost a lone striker on the counter-attack whenever he was bursting out from corners. Chelsea couldn't contain him. The guy's relentless. I love watching Marcus Rashford play. I really, really do. Lukaku, I think, 
had an indifferent performance, especially in comparison to Marcus Rashford, but it didn't matter because Pogba and Rashford, they turned up tonight. Herrera turned up tonight. Matic, I was a little bit scared he was going to get a red card. It didn't matter. He turned up tonight. Every single player turned up. And what a hell of a response that is after PSG. Because that was a, a, a slightly numbing defeat. Because we knew the quality that PSG had. But we knew we were in such good form. Maybe we could do a job against them. It ended up being men against boys at Old Trafford. And tonight, it was men against toddlers. Chelsea booing their own team at halftime, booing the substitutions of their manager and booing the team off at full time. That is what you want to see from Chelsea at Stamford Bridge. And the away end, just like it was against Fulham, that was a brilliant day out, that was. Tonight looked even better. Full voice for the full 90 minutes. And with Ole at the wheel, it's hard not to smile right now as a United fan. Back to winning ways immediately. Now we've got Liverpool on fucking Sunday. That's the biggest game that Solskjaer has had so far as the United manager. And if he can put the brakes on a Liverpool title push, who's to say that he's not ready to take this job full time next season? Because from what we're seeing, Solskjaer is doing everything right. And tonight was such a massive test after PSG, with players being injured, switching formations. The players are committed. The players are running for Solskjaer. Everybody gave 100% tonight, and we matched that with the quality that we had on and off the ball. Genuinely, a complete Manchester United performance. Clean sheet, two outstanding goals, and everybody, everywhere, didn't want to lose that game, or we didn't. Chelsea were just second best everywhere. Who was your man in the match? For me, you can't look past Ander Herrera, no matter how good Paul Popper was. But let me know what you think in the comments below. Ole is at the wheel. We're back to winning ways. Can you hear the booze at Stamford Bridge? I can.